Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to my highly anticipated desk tour for the winter of 2016. If you want to purchase any of the items that you see in this video, I'll have a single link in the description below that leads you to an Amazon list with all these products. And if you want to check out any of my further reviews of these products, I'll also have a link to a playlist in the description. So to start off, let's quickly talk about the furniture. Unfortunately, the white desk that is the center of my setup isn't available anymore. It was from a local furniture store and these elements on the left and right sides are from Ikea though. So I'll leave a link below. But now talking about tech, the first part of the setup is the Optima HD26 full HD projector that's hanging at my ceiling and it just produces a very good image and I have an Optima projector screen as well with a diagonal of 92 inches with 16 by 9 so a very very big diagonal and it's just amazing for playing games as well as watching movies. Continuing on hooked up to the projector is the LG BH7430P 5.1 home theater system with 3D Blu-ray and then we also have the Xbox One S which I use for gaming of course and just a pleasure on this huge diagonal. Then continuing on we have two Philips Living Colors Iris. Now these are also prepared to work with the U system so that you can control it from your smartphone that's also very nice. And then next up we'll have the Rode Anti-USB which is by far my favorite USB microphone and it's also the one that I'm using right now to actually make this voiceover. Then next to it we have my iPad Pro 12 inch which I still absolutely love especially for watching movies and YouTube. And then next up we have the Dell QP2516D which I made a review of recently which is just the best monitor that I've ever used in my life. Moving on next to it we then have my late 2014 15 inch MacBook Pro with 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor Intel Core i7 and we also have 256 gigabyte of SSD as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM and even for 4K editing with Final Cut Pro it's an absolute pleasure and it's just incredibly fast so I'm very satisfied with the machine still despite the new MacBooks already being released. In terms of peripherals I then use the Logitech K811 wireless illuminated keyboard which is absolutely amazing and I really prefer it over the keyboards from Apple especially also because it is illuminated as I mentioned. And then I also have the Logitech MX Master which is my favorite mouse of all time. I also have a review on the channel. It's just absolutely amazing and I don't want to miss it. And below that we have the Hammer Alupad which is my mouse pad of choice and just works perfectly fine. In terms of sound I also have a 2.1 system that's dedicated to the MacBook Pro so that I can use it for example when I'm recording these voiceovers which is much better than if I would use the 5.1 system. And these are the Creative Gigaworks T3 that I've now owned for a couple of years and they are still amazing and I didn't have any issues with them. And in terms of smartphones, I use the Huawei Honor 7 as well as the LG G Flex 2. Last but not least, the backlight behind my main desk is just produced by a 5 meter LED strip, which is a generic one that you can get on Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks with a remote control that can of course also change the colors. And behind the scenes, I also have a Chromecast audio so that I can use the 5.1 system to listen to music here from my smartphone. Now what I really love about the setup is that it's just quite minimalistic and that I can really change the mood with these 5 medium LED strips as well as also the Philips Living Colors which are just absolutely amazing that I can highly recommend. This also wraps up the tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it and what I could improve in the comments below. And again there's a link to Amazon where you can find and purchase these products as well. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed content like this and also give the video a thumbs up. See you next time.